crafting so this is a crash course. planet new crash planet new player planet crafting tutorial yes go so down to the planet the von doom is waiting in a core dock to the back of this crafty sound i am we do give these out for free to new players because they are made entirely of generics go excellent just, just head straight we're just going to go plate. down to a uh, yeah, yeah base plate straight for that plate. straight ahead yep i'm grabbing on tight Oh, God. Oh, and we are there. Oh, Welcome quick. to Castellata something planet. Yeah, Castellatopia. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up one ore and one shard each. Let's get to it, Von Doom. Yes. Okay, so with the current uh, faction bonuses and things, we're in a claimed sector right now. So I'm going to pick up one of these. And that gave me 144 shards. 192 what? shards. I got lucky. That's what it was. Ah. So go. we're learning, Tom. We're yeah, learning. So that means it's even more efficient to do it by hand. You're better off getting out and mining by hand, dude. Because <laughs> of the bonus. Yeah, because you just. You oh, just I just gonna, did it um... again. I just did it again, dude. 768. Well, oh, I think... No, I didn't get it. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's funny oh, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> 192 from two blocks, so I did actually get the mining bonus. Okay, so we've got knacked or So there we go, I've got 100. That's it, that's all we need. So, to start off with, what we're going to do is we're going to make, I think it was 20. So we press I, and then click on the craft generics button. We're then going to put in our shards first. So we'll put in some of the shards. These are going to turn into crystal circuits. And we'll make Ooh. we'll make we'll make thirty of them. So this bit takes a, takes the this is the longest wait out of everything. You just got to. So get what enough. do crystal circuits do? What are they, they for? Are, they are generics that make everything in the basic. So you combine crystal circuits and metal mesh, which is something we're going to get next. So once you've got thirty, pull the circuits and the crystal out, and put the knacked ore in. And the ore is going right. to make alloyed metal mesh. Okay. So once we've got 30 mesh... I got mesh, 10 metal mesh. Nice. So just keep on cooking it until you've got 30, and then you can even shift-click to pull it out of there. Okay. Right, one more pass, and I should be good. We are done. Excellent. So then you open What up, now, Tom? Well, where you open up, we click on Craft Factory, the third tab down, and right. then click on production info and you'll see 10 alloyed metal Whoa. mesh or 10 crystal circuit makes a basic factory so we're just going to put 10 of either not both just 10 metal mesh into the into there or, or crystal it doesn't matter just 10 of either and that'll give you I'll a put basic metal mesh factory. inside nice and then when you've got your basic factory put, throw it down on the floor nice you can turn it off with the active button to save power. So there we go. We'll just focus on yours for now. So we. It got... is off. Yep. Nice. So then what we're going to do is go into it, and the first thing you're going to have problems with is power. So obviously power. So you're going to want to make one power block. Okay. A power block is 20 alloyed metal mesh. All right. So I'm going to put my metal mesh in there. And active. And we need to now hit it with our power supply beams, because we haven't got any power. So All we right. hit it hit it with the power supply beams. And then that should just do it for long enough, ten seconds, just to make sure it runs. Meow. Yep, there we go. Now Meow. we have one power block. And you'd continue that process, but you only need one. So put one power block down. Okay, and now we can change this to capsule refinery. So you click on the uh, text there and type cap. So that's what I did. I clicked on it, typed CAP, hit the drop down list, capsule refinery. There we go. Um, that, if you click on the graph, requires 10 and 10. So if I put 10 crystals in and you put 10 metal mesh, we are good to go. <clears throat> There it is. We've nice. got a capsule refinery. In so fact, what does this do? Do you want to place it down? Sure. So we'll turn off the capsule refinery for now. And then, uh, sorry, the basic factory. So the capsule refinery is where we're going to put all of our ores and shards. So I'm going to throw all of mine in here. Whoa! I'm going to put mine in as well. Nice. And then this takes a bit of time, but you can hit C and link this to and any of the factory blocks to something called 
uh, factory enhancers and the factory enhancers will actually allow you to get more per tick per block each block gives you an extra item we have got some power problems so I'm just gonna sort that out okay we've got more blocks. whoa made loads yeah I'm just putting a basic one in there we go okay so now that's happily running Obviously, uh, if you were doing this, you'd want to build some factory enhancers now so that you could get your items quicker. Because obviously How this we is build going them? to take a long time. Well, we go into the basic factory and we choose standard factory. Which requires 20 crystal circuits and 20 alloyed metal mesh. Now, we've I've only got 20 crystal circuits left. So, how many I've do you got, have? I've got 30. Right, so um, what of the mesh or the crystal circuits? Crystal. Ah, so what are we going to do? I've got 10 alloyed mesh now, mesh though. Well, what we're going to do is look in the capsule refinery because it gives us free metal mesh and free crystal circuits. Just oh my god! There. Yeah. So then we can take that and we can use the first batch of that just to give us a few enhancers. Sorry, to give us our, st our standard factory. So obviously we want to get 20 of them, so we're going to put 20, uh, 20 in here. So 20. 20. There we go. And where is it? There we go. So Whoa! The standard factory. Can I place it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Here. Throw it down. I place this right here. Nice. So what can you build in this? Well, the standard factory makes all of the standard hull blocks and anything in the standard tier. So things like and signal activation blocks as the advanced factory um a few of the um like systems like astro technician beam uh beacons, docking systems the lights docking systems yeah there's lots of stuff in here um no way i can build a jump drive computer what do i need for that well the NACT jump... capsules and crystal circuit whoa that yep. requires a lot it does require 500 a NACT and a thousand crystal circuits yes hmm but don't oh, worry oh look we've got like 600 in this uh thing right here and 350 NACT capsules i think we'll soon be able to afford it tom yeah. From just a few uh, blocks. I, <laughs> well, don't worry, because we haven't got a ship to attach it to yet. So, that'll cost a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to make factory enhancers, which will make us able to make much more blocks with the amounts that we bring in over time. Because obviously our salvage is going to get bigger, and pretty soon our factory will be the bottleneck. So, we need to make these factory enhancers early on, so that we can make things run faster. Because we look for things, General. Do, do they make they make things go? They do. So, um, if I hit C on this, and obviously we're going to be making a few of these enhancers. So when I get to five, I'm going to put five of them attached to the capsule refinery. So there we go. We hit C on the capsule refinery, and then we put down three enhancers. Whoa. Oops. In fact, we'll put down five, because why not? There we go. So now, this will be making five times faster, effectively. Well, it's five items more. Hey, Tom, actually. I'm poking it. I'm poking oh, no, it. he's poking it. He's poking it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, from here, you know, to make an advanced factory, all you have to do is select the advanced factory and put the required materials inside. Then you've got I then the advanced factory allows you to make all of the advanced armors, uh, 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 warp gates, uh, all of that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to make myself to an it. advanced factory. Because as you can see now, yeah, do it, do it, make an advanced factory. So he's loads of them. So, oh my god! Don't make loads of them though. Just make one. Oh my god! <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> Notice yes. that only make it one at a time. Yeah. It'll only make it one at a time if there's no enhancers. So I'm just going to put I it back can't onto overload the it like that. Enhancers? Yeah, so it, unless there's a bunch of enhancers attached to a factory, it'll never make loads of them in one tick. You would have to actually walk off and leave it. Which is fine, because if you leave a factory running all night, it'll probably make a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, nice. I can make all the effect locks in this and yep. more. 
Yep, most of the weapons... Which is advanced armors. Yeah, are, are pretty much salvages and basic stuff, like thrusters, ship cores, power. They're all in the basic factory. The standard has all of the weapon systems in, and then I think advanced has stuff like shields and effect computers. Stuff that would be considered higher tier. So this cloaker I've just selected requires 50 knocked capsule and 50 knacked. I think Do we have either I'd, of those? I'd rather get. A, I think a jammer is probably more useful, but it's up to you. Yeah, jammer, radar jammer, because it only requires one block, and it's much easier to oh. power. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You that requires it... fifty friends still and fifty hotel. We don't well, have we those. we don't have any of those. But once we'd been mining for a while, we would definitely would. So. Oh yeah, definitely. There is one thing we've missed out, which is the micro assembler. And the micro assembler, does that do? it, it, it does two things. Uh, the micro assembler, let's just make one. It does a few extra things, Tom. It does, yeah. The micro assembler is pretty fun. Oh, there's a lot of extra things, but this is just a basic tutorial for people settling on a yeah, planet. Yeah, yeah. I want to try and split it out. There will be further tutorials on further things. So, with your micro assembler, you throw that down. That actually allows you to turn your capsules into circuits or into mesh if they were a metal type. Okay? Whoa. Yep. Um, it also I'm gonna allows you do to that. turn scrap metal from decayed stations into alloyed metal mesh and crystal circuits. So all that stuff that you built, that you pick up... So one capsule equals two crystal circuits. Um, yes. It's not a good conversion rate to turn capsules into circuits in the microassembler. It's better for turning the scrap you collect from decayed stations into generics, which you can use for basic production, like hull and things like that. Uh, there will be further tutorials going over how you paint and harden hull, how to set up more advanced factories, like with automation, so that they actually feed each other, and also with Plex storage uh, filtering as well. So uh, look out for those tutorials. Uh, stick some comments down if you want to know anything in particular, and we'll do a special video on that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Also, don't forget to like and comment. We like that. Yes. 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 See you soon, guys. No, don't shoot me. No, it's 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 yellow, Ugh. green. Ugh.